Uh, greetings, Pisces, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all doing well. And this is my reading for a Pisces for the 777 portal, which is coming up on July 7th. And so whenever you're watching this reading, it's meant for you. And let's see um, what the Water Oracle wants you to know. Well, you're moving into a flow and something with ease and grace uh, because uh, what you're needing to know now for this a portal is coming. Uh, it's coming in the form of let it go. You're needing to let go. Uh, during the 7-7 seven, seven portal, this is an important time where we work on a personal growth and development and also our spiritual awareness to open deeply to that and so you're releasing the past and forgiving uh, something that is coming up during the 77 portal for forgiveness and you're going to soften your heart and move forward and that's what i have uh, coming for you in this 77 portal a new flow of energy and you're going to ride the waves uh, both of these cards suggest being around water. If you have um, the opportunity to travel to the ocean, that would be very important for you during this 7-7 portal. Because uh, your life lessons and growth, where you're going to let go, forgive, and then this uh, movement is coming. Uh, you will get through this, whatever this transformation and transition is coming. Uh, because also during uh, the 777 portal, we work on our shadow um, issues. We work on things that we need to let go of because we do see letting go. And we have to learn to ride these waves and to trust, take a leap of faith. Uh, because you are a she who flows. And whether you're a man or a woman, it's saying that you're flowing now uh, to go with the flow of life. And that is how the 7-7 seven, seven portal is going to serve you best. So make a positive intention right now as we uh, begin this reading. And thank you, Spirit Guides, for bringing clear and accurate information for Pisces. And let's dive right in. Well, this is you, the Four of Cups. You're having a time of um, apathy, boredom, being closed off emotionally. You're uh, taking time during this uh, portal uh, to look at your uh, development at to date. Where are you in your uh, flow of life? Where are you in your spiritual evolution? And you're feeling somewhat cut off from relationships, despondent, um, disappointed. Uh, even though you see that you have your spirit uh, guide, this... Uh, duck is helping you <clears throat> to stay out of the rain you're still closed off and not receiving uh, what could be helping you to move into this a new time frame for yourself and to a uh, flow and to uh, begin to feel that ease something easing up um, and it comes with the emperor because uh, you're taking um, authority over your own destiny and that could be challenging your happiness. Uh, this emperor, this could be an, an Aries. Um, that is the challenge to you of uh, feeling um, perhaps cut off, disappointed, uh, closed from feeling that love and flow of um, the heart. And you um, see that this depiction of the emperor is a very narcissistic energy because uh, they're... Uh, the subjects underneath this emperor are tied like on leashes. So there could be something challenging your feelings right now, a relationship. Maybe there's somebody who is very powerful over you. This could be a boss or, or a father figure or an Aries that's challenging you to get out of this despondency. Maybe you're depressed and the emperor's coming to say, uh, take command of your own life, to flow, to ride the waves and to know you'll get through this, whatever this feeling of a uh, lack, of feeling um, that your heart is not just engaged right now. You're very closed down, but, and there we have the three of swords. Well, you're closed down because of some heartbreak. This could have been uh, in the recent past. This is down under uh, that you might not see right now. 
And during this portal, we're being asked to open up, to take a leap of faith, to move toward um, a spiritual uh, calling, uh, or just to be more aware of our personal growth and our shadow issues. But some, a third party, a divorce, a separation in a relationship has uh, hurt you to the quick and is maybe part of the reason you're despondent and reevaluating your relationships or perhaps reevaluating your connection to uh, this boss, this authority, this emperor. Maybe you need to be your own emperor and take uh, command over a forgiving because we had forgiveness come to forgive whatever hurt you in the past because that uh, will let you move forward to um, processing something very deep in the recent past happened around loss. Uh, so we have three cards here already. Uh, the Four of Cups of despondency, disappointment, of reviewing your relationships, feeling closed off. Uh, we have the Three of Swords, which is a time of heartbreak at the very foundation of, of this portal that you're moving toward, this new destiny uh, that is going to involve uh, this uh, trust and leap of faith toward something new. And you know you can ride the waves, Pisces, through this. And <clears throat> The Five of Cups in the recent uh, past, there was sadness, a loss, and you have been grieving. Maybe for five years you have been grieving a deep loss around an authority figure, around a father, around um, a boss, around somebody who is a very strong masculine energy, whether male or female, who has had some command, authority over you. Maybe you felt like you have been on a leash under somebody's a thumb and you're uh, having to face this grief this sadness and move forward to a whole new world that is waiting for you and it's it, as we go through this shadow work and forgiveness we have to look at uh, where we have felt wounded where we have felt uh, this grief regrets that's part of life and you're gonna let go of whatever this is that is holding you back. So you can really receive that full energy of the ocean, of that eternal ebb and flow. And so at the uh, crown, your higher powers are wanting you to uh, know this now. They want you to know that uh, this has been a heavy burden to admit that, to acknowledge that, to see fully, even though uh, a what you feel that the responsibility, the obligation has been. It could have been flowering, growth. Uh, you see their flowers in this grief and sadness as well. So there's something about letting go of whatever bloomed, whatever flowered, whatever came to its beauty. Um, and you're feeling this lack, this loss, this severance from a relationship and it's been a burden and you're going to let this burden go you're coming to the end of that that is what you um, are seeing at the seven a seven portal this sense of release you're almost there with whatever you carried give yourself credit for that uh, give yourself credit uh, to move forward uh, with this Pisces and to soften Often when we are heavy and holding on, we're rigid. And you're softening because you've got this, um, look at all this energy of the umbrellas just parachuting you out to a whole new world. And you're going with it. You're holding on tight, but you're going to take this green light and go forward uh, toward success. A lot of quick communication, uh, but it's giving you the green light. Uh, to uh, ride the waves toward a whole new world uh, where you're going to have um, more of a sense of setting your own intentions, what it is you want to accomplish, these goals uh, toward your own fulfillment. And you have the three of wands at the a way you're thinking about this four of cups. Well, you have climbed up uh, to the top of some situation. It could be in a relationship. It could be around your work. 
or where you live, but you have taken a vision out there. Uh, you look how high up you are. And you have your ship in your hand ready to launch something new, to put something out there. And you've got the uh, Eight of Wands to go quickly toward that. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and a new kind of love from your environment. Your cup runneth over with this transforming energy of the 777. Uh, you're connecting to your spiritual energy. Um, and it's coming in from your environment with a lot of love. Uh, and it, it's your hope and fear is uh, the Six of Cups. Your hope and fear has to do with nostalgia, the past, childhood. Something about your hope and fear is with this new um, vision you're putting out there and the love coming in from your environment uh, that something is going to uh, be revealed uh, to you, your both hope and your fear around your past, around uh, something you loved as a child. Uh, you're connecting to someone you knew. It uh, could be a, an old friend, an old lover, a family member. But it's going to bring up something from your childhood. And you could be seeing balloons, uh, especially green or blue balloons. And spend time uh, doing things that make you feel reconnected to your uh, childhood, your innocence, your playfulness. Uh, that sense of letting go uh, and softening, you know softening your energy and to make it light and playful because you are um, getting a, a new download about something that happened in your past uh, and it's coming with the star well you're seeing this whole new transformed world uh, and this is transforming uh, through hope through us having this new uh, feeling of inspiration to uh, let the 7-7 portal inspire you uh, to grow and develop uh, a, a new spiritual connection. And that will bring you um, into a whole new healing, uh, understanding about what is going on in terms of this uh, a need to uh, flow, to be at ease, uh, to be open to change. To, to go with the flow of life. We have to have inspiration uh, to tap into that, uh, to use our gifts and talents, to shine, to be recognized for the beauty you are bringing out of you. And so let's uh, get some clarification. Why is uh, the Four of Cups here for my Pisces? What does the Four of Cups want you to know? Well, you have been cut off from people uh, holding on to your emotions, feeling um, maybe regretful or uh, disappointed in love. And it could be because of the Ten of Cups. You had had this image of bliss, of something you really wanted, um, this happy home, a children, a loving relationship. Um, the feeling of security and a beautiful environment where happiness can flow naturally. Uh, and this will help you move out of this despondency. To connect with something that is your dream, um, your inspiration, put this intention out to move out of uh, this apathy and despondency toward bliss, toward uh, this imagining of what would bring you happiness in terms of its most fulfilling uh, relational uh, qualities. And the emperor is challenging this happiness, some Aries, some authority, some boss, a father figure, a very powerful a masculine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, uh, something that uh, goes out with authority toward what they want. And it's saying that you need to boss up and claim and put out your intention that you do want happiness. You want this fulfillment. You want happy relationships. Perhaps you want children and a family. Um, and that's <clears throat> coming uh, with the emperor as challenging that. And the emperor is here because the emperor came again. Wow. Well, the emperor is clarifying the emperor. So there's, again, 
claiming your authority, your power, uh, structuring your life around a, a situation that's going to bring this happiness. This could be a double emphasis of you're involved with an Aries. And this Three of Swords at the foundation, some relationship that broke your heart, and that you had to end, that you were severed from something suddenly. Um, and you're seeing this clearly because of the Queen of Pentacles. This could be an earth sign, Capricorn, a Taurus, or Virgo, that was involved with this heartbreak, this sadness, this grief, this a betrayal in a relationship. And you're seeing that you have a lot of energy to nurture. You can nurture that uh, hurt, that heart, and to heal that. And to see that you have a lot of abundance already at the foundation. And that's coming uh, with the Five of Cups because, <clears throat> well, whatever you had to grieve, whatever you were in regret about, whatever loss had been going on in the recent past you're, it's being clarified by you're moving on from that with success, with recognition you're moving away from this uh, sense of um, grief and regret and sadness, sorrow and that could be part of this heavy burden you've been carrying of flowers, of something that was uh, blossoming and you kept going with it and you were very dutiful and responsible toward uh, this burden you were carrying. And the Queen of Wands, well you got two queens um, here with the Queen of Pentacles at the foundation and the Queen of Wands now coming as a download from your crown. Your higher powers want you to know as you go through uh, this 7-7 seven, seven portal and enhanced intuition is very important and you have that deep watery nature Pisces so you tap into that let that flow and to know that you got the confidence the power the energy uh, the passion and your psychic abilities to let this burden go and you're gonna do that quickly with a lot of communication because uh, the Queen of Cups well you have three of the <clears throat> four uh, uh, queens in a row. You've got the queen of the earth at the foundation helping you with sadness and a grief around a relationship. You have the queen of wands uh, uh, at, the at the crown uh, allowing you to open to your intuition, your psychic abilities, which will help you release a burden uh, that you thought was very beautiful or flowering, but you're letting it go quickly because you've had an intuition. You felt deeply about this situation and you're moving quickly uh, with your heart, with your emotions, with your values, what you really care about and moving quickly toward uh, this new venture that you're setting out. You're waiting for your ships to come in from this uh, vision you put out and what's coming back from uh, the Three of Wands. What is it at the that you're seeing about this um, despondency, this disappointment that you want to be blissful, you want to end in a marriage, children, a happy home together, many relationships around you, but the Three of Wands, this energy you put out there uh, toward a new situation, what might be coming back is uh, some kind of fighting, some kind of mental conflict you might feel that you want to put something out with a new vision, but there's obstacles mentally. You feel like you're fighting yourself. And this is an important time to really look at our beliefs, our values, how we're thinking, because the universe is very attuned to our inner thoughts. And you're gonna move into the um, environment with the Ace of Cups, and it's clarified by the Seven of Pentacles uh, where you're needing to evaluate, reassess this love, uh, to look over what you've grown in terms of love and a new way of loving. And do you want to take uh, what you've gone uh, through to this point and keep going, or do you want to take that um, coin and plant it elsewhere? And where you're going to get this information is from their past, somebody coming back from the past or connecting to past energies, 
a nostalgia, or just something that made you feel very uh, innocent, childlike, happy, uh, playful. And that's coming because of the <clears throat> Three of Cups. Well, there's something coming from back from the past that's going to make you very happy and celebrate. You could be coming together, uh, if you're a woman, with a group of your girlfriends, maybe going on a little trip or having a party together, that you're celebrating uh, something that was very meaningful from your past. It could be just coming together to reap the rewards of all the work you've done in the realm of your heart. And it's uh, coming with the star. That could involve an Aquarius energy. And it's coming because uh, the star is here being clarified with the Hierophant. Well, the star is saying you're getting, you've been healing uh, that inner light. Uh, you've been getting to know yourself, working with your shadow elements, and then inspiring others uh, through uh, this ability to use your talents and gifts. But you are also now uh, tapping into a higher power above. You see the Hierophant is the, a spiritual teacher on earth that is able to uh, connect with those higher downloads from God or from spirit or the universe. Um, whatever you pray to, whatever you're aligned with in your belief system, um, this could involve a Taurus. And so you have a Taurus and an Aquarius here uh, for you, uh, Pisces. But you're tapping in, he's pointing, as above, so below. And so that is the importance of inspiring, uh, moving forward with healing and hope uh, toward this interconnection to your source. And uh, that is what this portal offers you, Pisces. And let me know if this resonates with you, how you are uh, moving with the flow of life, uh, forgiving, letting go. And what is going to open for you is going to be very powerful. And uh, it's coming with this inspiration, a brightness. And uh, the truth is coming down through uh, belief, through values, through your faith. And you're taking the leap of faith now. And so it is. And please uh, leave me a comment. It's so important, Pisces, for my channel to grow and for me to share this message with you that I know is resonating. And let me know how and give me a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And see you next time. And you know I love you, Pisces. And enjoy this 7-7 portal. Bye-bye.